Hi, it's Cookie here with a quick uh, tutorial to show how to use MoGraph Extrude with a step effector to make uh, organic and abstract shapes and very simple geometry, such as the little movie here that's playing away. Right, we can start with almost anything, but let's start with the simplest possible thing. We'll start with a plane and make it a fair bit smaller. And 20, say. And we'll just make it one segment. Zoom in on that, and that's all you've got. Just one polygon. Just pan out a bit. Now, if we go up to uh, MoGraph and select the extrude, pop the extrude inside the plane, then you see it's already given us some actual structure. <coughs> Excuse me. You look at the settings there and you can see you've got extrusion steps 4. You can see just by zapping that up and down you can uh, already start creating some objects. On the transform by uh, default the size has got 0.98 in there so it slowly gets narrower towards the top. And if you muck around with these settings give you some idea of what they're doing. Which are all pretty interesting. And then, if you use the uh, rotation, you also get some very interesting things going on. But if we add to that the MoGraph step effector, See that's already having an effect with its default settings as well, which would be the scale. <clears throat> it's got the scale one there. You see if we slide that up and down, get the idea of what's going on there. But what's very interesting is in the effect panel here, you've got a spline option where the distortion is actually following the shape of the spline that you can draw. And so you can do, do what you like really in here, just, just uh, do something so you can actually see what it's doing. And sometimes the effect of that may not look as though it's doing an awful lot. But if you uh, pump up the scale here, you'll see how radical that can be. And at the moment that's doing it uniform scale, so it's doing it in, in all the axes. But if you change it so that it's just acting on the uh, in one axis, like the x-axis, you start getting these sort of leaf-like shapes, which is great. <coughs> it looks a bit square at the moment, but if you stick it in a hypernerves, and put our favourite colour on there, you can see you're starting to get some very interesting shapes forming just from that one polygon, which is pretty amazing. Really, <clears throat> you just need to experiment with these uh, settings to see what you get out of it. Because almost no matter what you change on this, <clears throat> you'll get some uh, interesting results. See, it can twist and bend. You'll find lots of the settings actually have similar effects but uh, subtly different. Like you can reduce the extrusion steps if you want, but then actually increase the size of the steps. And you get these sort of crazy forms going on. Let's cut the number of steps down a little. Ooh, and up. Great fun. And that's what it does with one polygon, but uh, the way this works is if you put it on many polygons, let's just reduce this platonic down, <clears throat> and we'll swap out the 
flame for the platonic and you can see you're getting the same effects actually on every uh, every uh, polygon in fact, I made a mess of that, let's just put that in there and get rid of the plane put our colour on there that's better now the same sort of game here, if we muck around in the settings we can grow this into fantastic shapes and that's pretty much how that animation was uh, just made, just by mucking around with these shapes See that could do with a phone tag on it, that's why it's coming out a bit, uh, bit lumpy there find the thing, where is it from, there we go should just smooth it out and there you go, I'll leave you to play with that, it's a wonderful thing to use and uh, it's just incredible the weird shapes you can get just from a single polygon and obviously if you've got more polygons, more shapes, great fun. Have fun, see you soon.